Hey guys and welcome back to another beautiful day in the industrious Swedish Empire. Of course, welcome back to Humankind. We are just a few episodes away from hopefully total victory. 32 um, turns remain in the game and we have just won our first war against the Brazilian superpower. Gaining ourselves a nice big chunk of land in the second continent. We, of course, pretty much control all of our own. The uh, Horta Nazorni, or I think the Mexicans now they've chosen to be, are no threat, although they do own some land still in our lands. We're allied with the uh, Mongols to the east. I had to think about that for a second. Um, and the Huns are obviously our allies as well. I think everyone here is an ally of ours, except for the Brazilians and the Horta Nazorni. We'll probably take the Horta Nazorni out, and uh, obviously we'll try and destroy what's left of the Brazilians because I think they're still ahead of us in terms of stars. But we have more fame, so we'll still get the victory, I think. Uh, but we don't want to leave it up to chance, obviously. We want to destroy them. It's a horse ranch. Um, yeah, so I think the goal for today is continue on and try and get this victory. We'll probably possibly go to war with the Horde of Zorni again and just try and wipe them out. It might build a stronger military power. Um, we're going to be flying through a lot of the sciences as well. Yep, there we go. And we've obviously started colonising the third continent, which had nobody on it. Which I think was a mistake in the settings, and I should have changed that so that they... Um, Persians ended a treaty. The Persians want war, do they? Which ones are the Persians? Uh, they're the biggest ones. That's not good. Bastards. You don't like it. Suspicious. Okay. Let's see how it is. Okay. 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 You want a war? We'll have a war. Bastards. Oh, we've got our first man of wars. I've completely forgot we even built these. Obviously, they're a little bit useless to us now. Because we're not at war with anyone. Although we will be. War declaration needed. I don't think... Oh, okay. Oops. You have my ear. Tell me what you wish to discuss. Um, did I just break off alliances with everybody? Or are we good? Friend, you need a drink. <laughs> Love it. Um, yes, I do need a drink. Okay, I didn't actually think we'd be able to. I thought it'd bring me into this menu, and then we'd see. But apparently we're now at war with the Brazilians again. So that's interesting. That happened a lot quicker than I thought it would. What's this? Traitor. Okay. Bitch. Destroy that fleet for me, boys. And they're running. Of course they're running. Bloody coward. Um, they'll probably move in and take some of these outposts out, but they're their own outposts, so it doesn't affect me. None of these resources are really needed by me, so they can go ahead. We're just going to protect the city of Kerma. Hopefully draw in all of their forces here. Engage them, destroy them, and then we'll move in to take um, Napata. Will be the next idea. So we've got Biblos. 14 turns for St. Whoever's Cathedral. We're going to build it. Um, I don't think anywhere we choose to build it really matters. Let's put it up here on this random little bit. And then if we really want to get it done, we can just put everyone to work on it. Um, like you guys. You can join in on the project too. Do a career gal zoo. There you go. Anybody else? Sidon, you can... You've got loads of buildings to do. Let's do all the science ones. And military. There's nothing we actually need. Could get some musketeers, but I think we just wait till line infantry. Revoke, refuse. Ah, oh, hell no, I'm not revoking it, refuse it. I need my city cap. Oh, what did I do? No, don't do that. I didn't mean to do that. I take it back. I take it back. Stop. I can't take it back. Okay, end the turn. Osmosis event. A good thing it must end. The game will end it in 30 turns. Destroy that fleet. Engage it. 
they're confident, apparently. Did I engage it with the wrong fleet? Or are my boys just in the way? I think they're just in the way. That's not a one-shot kill. What are these things? Carax, how is that not a one-shot? That should obliterate the things, surely. It's not within range of our unit's position. Okay, well let's get this thing out in here. And do some damage. I don't want to lose any men unnecessarily. Okay, but they can one-shot it. How can the Man of Wars not that these things can? I thought they'd be better. Or maybe they're just more health? No, they've got more guns on, surely. What? Four times the amount of guns on them? I don't know. Uh, just refuse everything. I mean, their stability is going to be bloody awful anyway. It's actually not that bad. Um, new science, steam engine. So we can now have trains. Generates rail t towards neighbouring train stations. Rails allow travel to travel instantly from one train station to another at the cost of one movement point. Can be built once per territory. Cannot be placed on any resource deposits. Can be built once per territory. Uh, service, servicing military units of the railroad station can be constructed beyond city limits but helps augment industrial production when built next to industrial areas. It increases pollution as well but we also can now get coal. So that's cool. Um, so we can build train stations. I mean mostly we're deployed overseas but I suppose we could get a train line running from Byblos to the front lines so we could get units there very quickly to attack our enemies. Might as well go for this next and um, once that's finished we'll start building some train stations. Right, the fleet has done its job, so let's move them into this bay here. And then we'll start moving. Who are these guys? Rebels. <laughs> Not a threat. Um, yeah, then we'll move probably two of our units over to Napata to engage the city. It's quite a large city, so it might not be the easiest to take down. I think we actually, did we, I think we did take it down last time, didn't we? Possibly. Um, but yeah, we'll engage them again. You guys just station there on the outskirts. Um, not much else we need to do. I really hope that we can get to battleships before the game ends, but I have a strong feeling we're not going to. I think, the, yeah, I didn't really, it's the first time making a campaign, so I didn't really know how long to set it or how hard to set it. But yeah, definitely, I should have done a bit longer. I should have definitely gone a bit harder as well. I think the moment we kind of caught up with the leader, we really overtook and uh, it became a lot easier. Yeah, if you join in on that, let's just get that done. Another osmosis event. If it's free, enact it. Face offs. Let's just get that thing built. Same with you. Anyone who's not doing anything, just start building that. Siege cannons researched. Excellent. Olmex ended a treaty. I don't, at this point, it doesn't matter. Um, I might as well just try and push through and see if we can get, I mean, ironclads, so that'd be quite fun. Steam frigates. Gun platform, no special rules. Immune to suppression. Much higher combat strength when in coastal waters. Seafood, whale fishing. Whale fishing. Electricity, coal plant, coal generators, wired vaults. So we want to get to combustion engines, so that's where we're going to go. And then aeronautics afterwards. And then we've got strategic bombers, monoplane fighters, airports, radar, anti-aircraft gun, hell yeah. There it is, that's what we really want. So we're going to queue that up. I guess it's aircraft carriers, but that's what I really want. That's what I want before this game ends. I want at least one battleship construction team. Oh, look at all these things we're not going to get to see. Space station. Tanks. Stop teasing myself. Stop looking. Uh, press the wrong button. There we go. Okay, now moving on. We've got some Ukrainian construction. Nemosos, you've probably got a lot of buildings. Yep, so let's just queue all of them up. Get that done. Kerma. Um, refuse it. I don't want to change anything I've already done, so just refuse or enact. Um, 
will be the only options we really pick. Oh, it wasn't finished. Right. Well, I might as well get that done afterwards. Uh, Mongols have reached the industrial era with the British. Good for them. Mexicans triggered a three pop. Jesus. It's quite a big pop. Uh, right. So I suppose now we should probably move some forces into Napata. So we'll move our two strongest units here. How much money have we got? 18 grand. Let's see if we can upgrade that army. We can. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. If we send them up the top here. It should be quicker. And then we'll do the same with these guys. If we can, we'll send them back next time. And then we'll do that. Fuse it. And you guys can actually besiege the city. We may as well. They've got a lot of draftees, but we also have man of wars. And we've got much stronger men now. So I still don't think they're going to beat us. So let's do it. Let's get. Oh, okay. I didn't think I'd have the whole army with us here. We want our musketeers on the front lines. They're our strongest units right now. If they get engaged, they should wipe out the enemy. We don't really need our swordsmen anymore. Alright, that's everyone we want. Who are you guys? Still got some of those. Okay, cool. That's fine by me. Then we've got this fleet who should be reinforcing. Next turn. End deployment. Let's grab them in. Can't fire. That's a shame. Target is out of line of sight. Okay, I'm a little bit disappointed with these. I thought they'd be a lot better. Okay, yeah. They didn't stand a chance against our musketeers. We really now are at the point of just total victory. End round. Let them try. Just let them try. 32 health at the end of the turn. Yep, I think that's won it for us, if I'm honest. They've probably all launched an attack, and they've got one of our units fairly weak. But even with all of those men, it still wasn't enough. I'm just really disappointed we didn't get to use the Man of Wars. I reckon they would have been a great fun to use, but yeah, they're just not. They don't have the range. Beautiful. We are now a godly in terms of power. So we'll upgrade this army, and then we'll just use these two to go ahead and slaughter everybody. Because there's not a force on earth that can withstand us. Rebels from the Mongols, what are they doing down here? Scouts. Heathen bastards, that's what they are. End the turn. Uh, Christ of War victory, that was quick. New wonder can be claimed. Is as ornate as the place Empire State Building, Big Ben. Of the intercession of the Holy Virgin on the moat. Um, ten food, ten well, but ten everything. <coughs> ten everything with that. Christ the Redeemer. I reckon we go Empire State Building. I'm not really looking at these because it genuinely doesn't matter at this point. Just thought we'd um, we'd take it to be honest. We'd have it. Um, start working on Machu Picchu. You too. Wow, did you see it drop from 60 turns to like 11 as soon as I put the capital to work on it? Right, you boys go and kill those rebels for me. Navy, sit there. You boys start heading. No, we can't. Instantly resolve it. I swear to God, if you killed off any of my men, you didn't. Good. Oh, they've attacked again, have they? Instantly resolve it. Good. Yeah, I think because we're a traitor, everyone's starting to get a bit suspicious of us. But I mean, were we really betraying anyone? They were our enemies. I don't really see it. Okay. It's just rebels. I don't think we'll need to. No, we didn't. Cool. Uh, refuse it. Refuse it. Did I put anyone to work on the coal mines? 
No, I didn't. Uh, what am I looking at? That. Just have to click it, do I? I think that's the only coal we actually have access to at the moment. I believe it is. There's some coal there. We've got our boys down here. There's also some coal there. So let's go set up an outpost over there because we want to claim as much coal as we can. Ideally, we don't actually have any. Oh, we have one under construction. I don't think there's coal anywhere else. Uh, actually, there's some right there that we haven't started mining. Yeah, get mining that. It's going to take seven turns. Are there any other resources we can't I'm pretty sure we can't mine the um nuclear power yet or anything else I like it so up there by Nessa yeah I think that is it for that I don't think there's much else we can do there so end that turn one more turn until the science is done which gives us propellers beautiful I do love my ships so when the Machu Picchu is done we'll get some of those ships built up and see what they're capable of because there's got to be one that can shoot over distance that isn't a battleship I swear to god if the battleships can't shoot over things I'm going to be so pissed uh, yep manually battle it because I want to save this guy wrong person put him there put you guys on the edge wait a second crikey Heavy weaponry. It's a bit generous. Beautiful. And you just defend. And they should all kill themselves now. Oh, wait, no, I didn't even see what they were. They're dragoons. My mistake. I thought they were just regular cavalry. Oh, they're actually good cavalry. Damn. Well, now they're dead cavalry. They're dead. Fire. Move. Don't really need to. Good stuff, boys. Good job. Look at us. We're clearing out all of the Brazilians' rebels for them. We're such good neighbours. We're such good neighbours. Really looking after our friends. Order your armies to move. Yep. End turn. Biblos, you've got five turns until that's done. Pollution's got a long way to go before it becomes any kind of threat. Not that it will become a threat. I don't think. Persians now feel differently. We're being plundered. Probably somewhere down here. Yep. Like I said, they're plundering their own... Okay. That. That might be a threat. If they get that up here. But they also do have four scouts. Oh no, they're horsemen. Pretty much scouts. They've got line infantry and a heavy machine gun. That heavy machine gun might mow through my units. So. Yeah, might have to be a little bit careful about that. We'll see. I didn't think they had any because they haven't really been producing any men like that. But now they have. Um, yeah, if you guys just station, I think we're about to win this war anyway. So it doesn't really matter. And we'll try and go to war with them again. And see what happens. We'll use our new navy up here. Once we upgrade this army, which we'll do now. And that's as high as they will go, is it? Apparently so. Start moving them onto the border here. Or maybe up there. Might be a better spot for them. Oh, we need two coal. That's a shame. Because we're currently producing it. Or we're building it, sorry. Where is the actual station? So I can't pay for them to be done. Yes, I can. Yeah, we can give it five pops. Let's just do that. Save us a little bit of money. We've got the coal. And now we can upgrade the fleet. No, we can't because it's going to cost us 12 grand. Can't even do two, but we can do one. Which gives us a steam frigate. And it'll take a while before we can afford another one, but we'll try to. 
Close to a war victory. I think that means we have won the war. Yes, we have. Uh, win a war score. We only got 159, so I don't think that's enough to do much. But we can take Napata. Oh, we apparently we're taking Napata. Is it all free? Why is it saying? Because we don't occupy it. So we're just automatically taking that. Is that right? Or am I misreading it? I think that's right. So we could take some of the unclaimed outposts. Don't have enough to make them a vassal. Or we could just take money and upgrade our armies. Let's do that. And then... Yeah, cool. Cool, cool. And that. Uh, we've got a battle going on down there. I think we're going to smash it, so it doesn't matter. Let's get them working on Machu Picchu. Get that finished. Auto resolve it. You guys have finished building that. So let's go and build the one up here too. Something needs to move, and then we end the turn there. Beautiful. And our forces are moving into position. Era start unlocked. I think, are we in the lead now? Three. Sorry, nowhere near. But we have got another star. 95 districts. So if we build two more districts, then we've completed another thing. Which, we're going to get you to build a train station now. Build it there. And then osmosis event. Enact it. And then end turn. Machu Picchu could be described hey. as an imperial center for an Move. And I need to... Oh, whatever. Heights. Okay, cool. So now I guess we build this and let's give it to these guys down here. Let's put it on the uh, cliff side. As if it needs to be any taller. Right, you. Whaling. Economy. We could upgrade our sea trade, our science, or we could try and build some units. Now, I don't think we should build any more units, so I think we should go for money. So that we can try and upgrade some of our units when the time comes. But we're going to have everybody else around working or are we should I build a rail station here oh Jesus their stability is about to drop build that for me instead Dukuri Galzu you start working on that you start working on that you work on that you work on that you guys Oh, we did, yeah, we did take Napata. Cool. I'm guessing they didn't plunder it. Nope. So. I mean, yeah, just move down here. Get ready to attack them again. Because we'll try and do it as quick as we can. You guys just auto-explore. There's not really much I need you to do. Idle army. Yep, you just sit there and wait, friends. The first train stations link up. Connect distant lands. Transfer cool. goods and travellers at unthinkable speeds. Hopefully, the lounge car is well stocked. Funny. Funny, funny, funny. Oh, go away. So, yeah, we now have a fully operational train station. Although, I'm not 100% sure how it works. I assume I just move my troops onto it. And they should, what, it connects to nearby sections? Don't know. It says we've got a battle going somewhere. Yep, yeah, instantly resolve it. Should kill them off. Lovely. And you guys just station and wait until our war support is enough. Combustion engine research. We now have U-boats and oil. <laughs> the really sad thing is, though, I worked all this way to try and go for naval power. Um, for it to essentially be useless because nobody has a navy anymore 
and it kind of sucks because I was really looking forward to some navy battles, especially when I had the first uh, submarines. But nobody has any navy. That's sad days. Very sad days. I don't think there's oil anywhere else, is there? Not that I'm seeing. No, it doesn't look like it. Also don't know if we actually took any resources from these guys, but it looks like the rebels have managed to take one of their cities. They did, yeah. It's quite impressive. They took their coal, actually. Took two of their coal. They did really well there. The Brazilians have gone from being one of the strongest to, I think, possibly... Well, maybe not the weakest, but definitely one of the weakest. Um, we've got another battle happening somewhere there. Yeah. I don't know where they're all coming from, to be honest. Right, what's this? The fate of veterans. After winning several famous victories for the Empire, many soldiers are now coming to the end of their military lives, hopeful for a dignified old uh, age. With a strong nationalistic feeling across the land and many people having family in the Empire's armies, they have much public support. How will you treat your veterans? Um, maybe we will honour them. Nice and simple. Mutinous in the patter. Yeah, that's to be expected. Persians ended a treaty. The Nile has been discovered. Excellent. Um, nothing is going on. What's our war support with the Brazilians like? How do you do? I, never the um, I can't do anything to really speed that up. It is going up by two. Science osmosis. Uh, just boost research, I guess. A few turns until we've got... Oh, we've already got airplanes. I didn't even see that. I must have missed that completely. No, we haven't got them yet. How are we doing... How are we doing that one? I thought it had to be... Aerial. Oh no, it goes straight. Oh, awesome. I didn't even see that. So we could just like speed ahead and go straight here. Although we need to unlock electronics first. Which is somewhere else. Aerial warfare. So we'd have to unlock aerial warfare anyway. Which I am fine with. Cool. Um, another battle. Probably more rebels. Yep. Instantly resolve it. Def pretty much just giving my men experience at this point. And then end the turn. There's lots of different units we can now build. It's pretty cool. Um, Biblos. Let's build a U-boat just for the fun of it. Another battle. Same people. They'll all be three stars in no time. Mutinous in Sidon. Really? Now... That I wasn't expecting. Ah, they're fine. Um, yeah, that's done. What else do you want in Biblos? I guess. That would have been really cool. So they can fire without line of sight. Which would have been quite interesting. Don't know what these do. Let's build one, see if they have any secret options. Right, if you guys move down here, I think there was like one ship and just go take him down for me. Well, they've got good range on him actually. Beautiful. Yeah, it's a, it's a shame we didn't really get to use him. Yeah, that would have been fun. Attacking enemy fleets without them even knowing we were there. There we go, battleships. How many turns have we got left? Twelve. So I think the uh, series is going to be ending today. But we did manage to make it to the battleships. That's all that matters. Yeah, screw Dragoons. Let's go planes and see if we can get planes. Build me a battleship. Quickly. We need electronics. So we can't have an aircraft carrier, I don't think. We've got a saboteur. So there's no extra options there. I wonder if they can sneak into territories. No. So I'm not really sure what they do. Let's see if we can find out. I'll try and declare war on somebody. Two turns until the battleship is done. 
sadly, and then we'll we'll move him up here, and then we'll just go and attack the Harappans, because I think we can. No, that's the Persians, wrong ones. Harappans. What fresh hell do you bring this Why am I saying Harappans? That's not even the right culture. Uh, refuse it. Move it. Move it, move it. Um, can I? I can. Excellent. I can spawn him up there, so even closer. Brilliant. Um, yep, end that turn. Get that done for me. Four turns for the planes and the airports. Resource sold. We've got a chat here. A city for everyone. Biblos is now vast and teeming with life. But the builders of your design... Uh, of your designed it with countless steep steps. Narrow doorways and high curbs. As such, it cannot be said to be as accommodating to some as it is to others. Your architects have drawn up plans for a grand act of modernisation. A redesign which would bring accessibility, ease and safety, safety to as many souls as possible at significant cost. They await your decision. Um, yeah, we'll compromise it, or should we modernise it? Uh, we'll compromise. So they're just getting all the upgrades. I'm surprised they're not all level 3 yet. Yeah, do it again. Okay, one of them did die. That's a shame, but I don't really care. Alright, now that that's done, we yeah, can't build that, so... Get the train station up. Battleship, start moving into Onondaga. Oh yeah, um, just go out there then. Only takes two turns, and then we've got these guys on the edge. And then we've got a saboteur that we can find out what he does too. Oh, look at it. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I love battleships. They're just so damn cool. Alright, move that, whatever that is. And then we are... Done. Unfortunately, yeah, one of our guys died there. But we can literally replace them like they're nothing. City starvation. Excellent. Excellent news. Truly excellent news. Alright, battleship, keep moving for me. And then. How much movement has he got left? He's got six turns in him. Declare war. There is an army there. They legged it. Ah, oh, that sucks. That, that does mean we can actually besiege the city with our battleship. Which is new, because I don't think ships have ever been able to do that. So, manually fight it. Um, they can't touch us. <laughs> I don't think. They're playing... Oh, damn, okay. If that's from their bowmen, I swear to God... It is. Their bowmen have managed to half sink a battleship. Can bombard districts and battlefields from out of battle. Okay, I probably should have read that first, so it didn't even need to be remotely close. Okay, we'll come back to that, because that's going to be long-winded and annoying. That's what that is. Okay, what's this? That's our sub. Right, if you just go and auto-explore... It's a shame I can't put you on aggressive... Just tell you to engage anyone you see. You done yet? No. <laughs> God damn it. Halberdiers. Now you're done. Yeah, we can pretty much one shot anybody no matter where they are. Can't go that far back, which is kind of sad. We can go that far back though, so that's quite a distance. And we can half destroy the walls. But it is a shame that it has taken so much damage. I nearly messed up then. I very, very nearly messed up then. All right. Field I want to find out what these guys do. Get loads of extra bonuses. I don't know what they do. Travelling undercover is a close combat unit. It cannot be seen by... Oh, say, okay, so it could sneak through land. 
but it what does it do oh it's uh, okay I know what it's for it's for ransacking outposts and like sites because it can't be seen so it's not a combat unit as such which I didn't really think it was I just wasn't sure what it was Yeah, I want to try and take down all of these guys if I can, which unfortunately I can't, and we might actually lose the battleship, which is going to be really sad. I think we're going to lose it. It's going to get attacked by a lot of guys. I think we might actually lose the battleship. It's just so sad. Okay, it didn't get touched. Or unless it hasn't loaded yet. No, it didn't get touched. Okay, I'm fine with that. Woo. Aha! Get him. Well, somebody made the mistake of attacking us. So I think we can blow up the rest of those walls and just march on in. And imagine a fleet of these just scattered around here would destroy the entire city in one go. It's just a shame that there aren't any enemies that can really pose a threat to us. It's a bit sad. They're playing their round. Uh, to be honest, let's just auto battle it. Yeah, I was going to say, we're not going to lose anybody. Although we did take a bit of damage, it seems. But there we go. We've taken Onondaga. Now we need to take Wasukani. We'll send the military down there to take that too. End the turn. Eight turns left. Mutinous in Onondaga. Yep, that's what we'd expect. City starving. Battleship. I doubt it can fire that far down, but it can protect Onondaga for us. You boys pretty much ready to go already, aren't you? Assault it, instantly resolve it. I doubt we lost anybody. Apparently we had reinforcements. Apparently they reinforced us. I'm not quite sure how, but I'm happy with that. Excellent, so that's another guy done. We're going to take out that ship any turn now. Battleship can station. End the turn. Cold Ramor. I like the name. Who are they now? They're still the Huns. They are. They've stayed the Huns this whole time. Hey, we've got planes. Just in time to see the game end. Does that possibly mean that we can get aerial warfare done? Six turns, we've got seven. Let's get it done, boys. Uh, refuse it, it's just, yep, smash through it. That ship can't have gone far. There it is. Go and sink the bastard. I'm really hoping he can't escape. He can escape. Alright. Yeah, he's out of range. However, he hasn't got more range than we do. Right, what do we want to build? We want electronics. You need an aerodrome. I didn't know that. Right, let's build an aerodrome. <laughs> there's, there's nowhere it's going to be useful. So I guess just build it there. We need electronics. Oh no, we can't make it yet. Oh, of course we can't. Idiot. Uh, yeah, instant resolve. Maybe he died. Good news. Masu Kani, right, you guys start heading that way. End the turn. Kerma's overproducing science. The Mexicans have a war support of 19. Yeah, cool. 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 If it's not on the main continent, I don't care if we're being ransacked. Manually fight it just because I've never used one and I want to see what it can do. It only does 90 damage somehow. I feel like a torpedo against the wooden ship would, yeah, pretty much do that. Beautiful. 
I was really hoping that we'd get to this kind of point in the game and somewhere in this sea or this um, ocean we'd have a massive modern naval, naval battle with subs, battleships, aircraft carriers on both sides. But um, yeah, I think I was just on the wrong difficulty. Which is a shame. But it uh, doesn't matter. So let's... Can we move them? No, we can't. End the turn. We can take Nessa before this war ends, hopefully. The city is starving. Is it bad that I simply don't care? Well, we may as well bring the battleship in to have a bit of fun down here. Oh, it's on a cliff. I didn't realise. Um, yep. Go instant resolve. We shouldn't have a problem. We lost our halberdiers. That's such a shame. So we've taken three of their cities, leaving them with Mexico. We've got the Statue of Liberty to build. Excellent. Send them down there for me. Uh, sub. Yep, just auto explore now. Five turns, end of the turn. The aerodrome is being built, so we'll get that plane up, see what they can do. There is discernible pollution in this territory, but no need for gas masks. Not yet. yet. So the Mexicans lost their war. We have a war score of 310. We're going to get 8,700. But we can also vassalize them. And take a ridiculous amount of their land, which is going to mean we're losing a stupid amount of influence. Yeah, minus 596. <laughs> oh dear, that's not good. Wait a second, what? We didn't capture it? Why does it say... Owned by the Mexicans. Oh, is it because I vassalized them? Oh no, we took Me Wait, hang on a minute. What? How have we taken Mexico? But we haven't taken the three that we had. Or the two that we had. How's that look? I suppose, okay, if that's the case and we only took one extra city, I'm guessing the amount of influence we would have lost would have been insanely high. <laughs> But we've got enough influence to make it to the end of the game, so it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, let's build a biplane, see what that does. Got some units, got an idle army here at Nessa. There are vassals, so they can't do shit. It's only taken until the end of the game to do it, but it's fine. It's done. People have been lots of starving, because there's too bloody many of them. Yeah, just station. Got London. Bilos has built its first plane. We've got airstrike, fly, air patrol, airstrike, upgrade, I guess, air patrol. See what that does. Can I build another one? Screw it. I can't build anything else. Oh, there he is. So he's patrolling the skies around Biblos. Does that mean he'll automatically engage targets? Patrol aircraft unit able to provide vision and counter enemy aircraft can also strike ground targets with reduced efficiency. So he can hit enemy armies that come near the city. So I think that's where the support bar in the army tab comes up. This is the air force. All right, they're being attacked, but they should win. They're all three star now. They're excellent stuff there. Two turns and the game is over. Let's see if we can finish the Empire State Building. You now have a city of ten territories. Damn it! That tiny first settlement is nothing but a distant memory. <laughs> That's very true. That's a shame. A couple more turns, we could have had an aircraft carrier up as well. It's a shame. But uh, here we end it. This is the last turn. So let's just pick whatever. I don't know. It's not going it, to... Literally, I don't know why I'm choosing. It doesn't make a difference. Let's go computing. One last battle to win. 
nothing to do. End the turn. Compared to this 20 territory Vietnam, End of your journey. This is your last turn. The game has reached its limit. You will be remembered as the mythical ruler of the Swedes. End the game. Yep, there's nothing else we can do. This is it. This is where our journey in humankind comes to an end. We started in Byblos with nothing but a few little settlers few little villagers and hunter-gatherers. We've gone through so many different cultures. And we've built so many different things in those cultures. It's amazing. We've come so far. We had so many wars here around Phaestos. I think this was the longest part of the game was when we were, just had these three territories. And then we really started to kick ass taking Dukurigalzu. I think we made it. No, we didn't make Dukurigalzu. We, we assimilated it. I think these are the only two places I actually made and then everywhere else we captured. But obviously we made a lot of outposts along that way too. We really kicked the English's ass because they had all of this. I mean they were a superpower. They owned all of this. And then we really just handed it to them, pushed them way, way back and managed to take it for ourselves. And even the Huns. I mean they didn't have too much. They only had the one city but they still owned a lot of territory up here. And we kick their asses too. It's been an amazing journey. It's been a fantastic, fantastic experience. All humankind remember the empire you have created and its remarkable achievements. For it is yours that has left the greatest mark on the endless story of humankind. Military arts blossomed most under your rule. History will recall you as one who believed that might makes right. And the wonder you built. World famous and often visited. It brought you fame, respect, and probably a nice income from tourism. <laughs> One other achievement worth noting. You became the leader of a great religion. Congratulations and glory to you. Aww. Thanks. One more testament to your perseverance. Part of your legacy was being involved in the longest war in history. Congratulations. Under your guidance, the thrilling tale of humankind has been rewritten in your own words. There may be future adventures and deeds, and even grander scope for this grand story. Regardless, you have left a great mark and answered the question. How far will you push? humankind fantastic this has been a really really fun and enjoyable game to play I'm not going to lie and we even came first Phoenicians our best era was our ancient era look at that the best era for them was the when they were the Poles and for them the medieval era fantastic but yeah, this has been an absolutely amazing experience. I mean, I haven't played a proper Civilization game in a long time, and obviously this isn't Civilization; it's its own thing. And I honestly think it's better. I love how the combat works in this game. Um, I love that you have the different rounds, but it's more up to you. It's not just a roll of the dice and a game of chance. It really is how you play the battle and how you use strategy and tactics to outmaneuver your enemies and get them into tight spaces or. Make sure that they attack the right units at the right time. It's fantastic and I've had a blast playing this. I really have. It's been a really, really enjoyable experience. And uh, if you guys want to see another playthrough of this on a higher difficulty as um, going through different cultures on a completely different world, then please let me know down in the description below. In the description? In the comments. It says skip the sequence. I don't think there's anything else. I don't know if there's going to be any other information. Oh, there is. And so it just tells us what stars we got. Ancient. Okay, it's just going to go through all of them. And we can even check all the other players. Look at that. I mean, this really doesn't matter. But, um, yeah, no, it's been a fantastic game. And obviously, if you guys have enjoyed it as well, then want to check it out for yourselves, it is in the description down below. Um, and like I said, if you want to see another playthrough of this, please let me know, because I have really enjoyed this, and I'll be happy to 
do another one, make it a lot harder, maybe make the map even bigger, have more or less AIs, just make it more interesting and a lot more difficult, it could be fun, could be interesting to do. I was sad we didn't get to do more in the industrial and contemporary eras, so having a higher difficulty probably would have been a lot more fun, um, but it was still equally as fun. And uh, we learnt a lot, we made a lot of mistakes in the early game, not really knowing what was going on, how to play the game, um, but as soon as we learnt we really picked our pace up and just, yeah, absolutely kicked ass against the um, other characters and players of this game. We had the longest war in the entire game, the best city, or that's just saying our best city, but we were told we had the longest war, and uh, yeah, look at that. I don't know what the, this is, I think this might be fame, possibly. But yeah. Food industry, I wonder if there's a military one that is. So I think, oh look at that. So the, the Hordenazorni actually did have the most prominent military at one point, or is that the Persians? No, I think, wait, when did we go to war with them? It was around here, so did it drop around there? Oh no, I think the darker brown is theirs because it has a drop right there. Okay, so that's the Persians then, must be. So they had a massive, massive military at the start of the game, like absolutely enormous. We were pretty level with everybody else, I don't think, yeah, we weren't really ahead or behind anyone. We managed to, we dropped a lot here. And then went back up. And then we had nearly 64 units at one point. I don't remember losing that many. Well, that's because, no, I'm thinking this is a much shorter time span. That's, yeah, that would make sense. I think we lost a whole army against somebody. The Brazilians had a huge force, and then they dropped down massively too. So that's awesome. That's really cool. Cities, I think, well, yeah, we only made the two. But obviously, we had more than everyone else. Brazilians, yep. Yeah. And then they dropped down as well. Fantastic. I wonder who was the most economic. We were. I think we had the most everything. Even science. But Oh, look at that. We were miles behind on the science for ages. We were at the bottom. And then all of a sudden, we just kicked up. Kicked it into gear. It took us a long time. Look at how low that bar is. And it took us that long to really get it up there. Some food doesn't really matter. Industry, we should have always had. No, apparently not. I always thought we'd be ahead on that. Religion. Yeah, the okay. religions were pretty firm too. Anyway, enough of this boring info. Sorry if I am boring you. Yeah, point is, brilliant game. If you want to see more, let me know. Um, if you've got any like comments, suggestions, anything you want to let me know, please go ahead and join the Discord or leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe as well. Keep yourself updated with everything that comes out and just um, support the channel. But otherwise, guys, I will see you in the next episode of whichever series is coming out. Probably be Age of Empires and Mountain Blade over the next few days. Um, but as the Mountain Blade series has also come to an end, I'll probably be doing more guides and battles and other information bits on that until I find a different series to do. But yeah, please let me know. Give me your input and let me know what you think. I hope you've had a good one and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, guys.